But I've got something interesting to do. Now I'm not going to be doing baby water cording at the moment. I'm going to be doing custom water cording. And custom water cording involves obviously using acrylic or tubing and a radiator pump, a uh, reservoir, and your own coolant, uh, your barbs and everything like that. And you actually assemble it, assemble it yourself. Now this is what I've got. I've got EK pump. I've got an EK radiator. I've got um, an EK uh, water block for the CPU. This is not going to be water cooled in the graphics card because I'm going to be waiting for the graphics card to be a GTX 1070 or I'm going to wait for the AMD 480 because I want it to be VR compatible as well as being a workstation as well as for gaming and I want it to be kind of very up to date. Uh, I know it's a little bit expensive but it's going to be cool anyway. And if you're gonna, you might as well make a computer expensive anyway. Because if you're doing water cording and stuff like that, that's all custom. The custom water cording loop alone is going to be expensive, so you might as well um, make it on that sort of even platform. So we've got Crucial dryer. So we've got two terabytes of uh, MX200 by Crucial, and we've got also two 500 separate MSATA dryers, which has got enclosures that have been custom wrapped with a Crucial and a maxed out logo on there. I've also got. Um, Primo Chill as well, um, acrylic, Primo Chill um, uh, compression fittings, I've got Primo, uh, Primo Chill uh, reservoir as well, I've got the water cooling by Mayhem, I've got, what else have I got, I've got uh, 64 gigs of uh, crucial DDR4 memory to go in this piece, I've got the Antec signature S10 case, this has also got custom tempered glass that I've just gone to my friend's company and got the glass, four like, planes of glass toughened and ready to be put on the case but it's in the shop at the moment because I don't need it yet until when I get involved with putting and assembling the computer together which you're going to see. I've got monsoon mandarils and I've got all the, the kits. I. I even went even more crazy. I went out to B&Q and home base, and then I went over there. It's a bit like Home Depot if you're watching in America. And I went and got a Dremel 3000 and all the six uh, six series. And um, yeah, I've got all that, and um, I got a heat gun and everything like that, so I can really go out and mod this case and draw holes and cut holes and cut things and do things. That's what I want to do. Anyway, this is going to be cool. Sit back and relax and then watch me just go ahead and just uh, make this beast of a, a computer. See you in a minute. So I'm going to try and not make this video boring at all. It's going to be in loads of different segments and it's like a little tutorial as well as like putting in good components and then showing how to quickly do it with ease. Now I'm just going to put this MSATA 500 gig and I'm going to do them as RAID 0. That's why there's two 500 gig MSATA and um, I really want to see what it can, how it can perform. So I'm going to be, I've got my test bench as well, which uh, you'll see come up soon. But let me just put this uh, drive in here. So this is the end of the review. Haha, <laughs> it's not even a review. Anyway, this is the end of the Solid States wrap. Um, it's got a custom maxed out logo and the crucial, all in purple and white. And this is to actually go with the purple haze theme of um, the case build, which I'm using the S10 for with the glass. It's going to look so sick when you see it when it's going to be finished. But yeah, this is uh, really cool. Got this um, printed, had to wait until three days so it dries out and then wrap it onto the actual uh, enclosure itself. And uh, yeah, 500 gigs here, gonna run it as uh, RAID 0. And these are gonna be positioned um, in top, in front of the case so you can see it. Uh, with the LED lights and everything like that, it's gonna look cool. I'm gonna put out a video every day on, um, on this video build. Um, I'll try to keep it nice and short and quick so you don't get bored and you can see something interesting. It's going to be really sick. I am going to go pretty mad and start cutting the case up and stuff like that. And I've just had a thought that I might actually go back to, um, I might actually make a case. And that would be quite a good. But um, what I want you to do is smash that like so then it gives me indication that you like this video. And um, yeah, write a comment, uh, ask a question, ask a question. And then I will just reply back to you, and obviously, if it's a good, decent question, you know. 
And uh, yeah, we can talk about this case and this build a little bit more. You might have a build or you want to do something like this. You can get in contact with me. I can get this done for you. No problem whatsoever. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Smash that like. If you dislike it, oh well, you disliked it and uh, let me know in the comments and tell me what you thought about it. And then, uh, yeah, I want to make this obviously a better video, improve it more. And uh, subscribe, share the video so other people can see it. And um, yeah, follow me on uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Instagram's doing really well. I don't know how it comes that's doing more better than this channel. I don't understand that. You like my pictures? Thank you very much and all that. When I get to ten thousand, I'm gonna do a giveaway. Why not? Actually, just saying that, I've got a giveaway going on at the moment, and that's the Toshiba USB drives, and you need to go and check out the Facebook um, page, and uh, yeah, like the page there as well, and uh, in yourself in the competition. I'm going to be kicking it off properly in one of the videos. I don't know which video it is, because it's all sporadic at the moment, all over the place, but I want to make sure that I give uh, you people back, or my audience back something for keeping subscribed for all these years, and liking my videos and commenting and sharing and all that sort of stuff and I'm off because I'm going to see you tomorrow in the next video. Thanks for watching. Next time on Maxed Out. Oh, I know, this is great. Just, just wait. So we've got the EK Pull Stream SE360 Slim Triple Rad.